a lot of liquidity put into the the overall economy by the Federal Reserve, for example, with uh, quantitative easing. They put in trillions of dollars in the expanding of the uh, balance sheet, almost a $5 trillion increase uh, in the balance sheet. We saw the money supply uh, surging. And the expression of all that liquidity came uh, to fruition by looking at equity prices. Equity prices, of course, hit a low in 2020. And then, of course, since then, even with the recent uh, correction in the S&P 500, we're up uh, almost uh, more than 85 percent on the uh, uh, on the S&P 500, and we know that the average person is depending on wages. And even though wages have increased, they have uh, uh, not outpaced inflation, and they certainly haven't risen as much as asset prices, which is primarily the currency of these wealthy individuals. And that is what has allowed them to increase their wealth over most of the rest of the population. In fact, the recent study showed that if uh, the, the top uh, 10 richest people in the world lost 99.999% of their wealth. They still have more money uh, that, to that the top 10 richest people than 99% of the population out there. And that, of course, was a study by Oxfam fam, out there. So it shows you the magnitude of the wealth that these uh, individuals were able to accumulate and had even before the pandemic. And then during the pandemic, they were able to magnify that. A good example. Uh, is Elon Musk, that at one point uh, his wealth went up a thousand percent relative to what he had uh, before COVID. And I can tell you, Main Street America did not see their net wealth going up one thousand percent.